All right. So did you see Loki season two, episode number one? Let me just say that it is nothing less than a chef's kiss, right? This episode does so much in terms of like the building and the lead up for Kang and also the Kang variants that it does such a better job than Ant-Man 3 Quantumania. Uh, yeah, I, I, I know some of you are going to disagree with it, which is totally okay. But I feel like the gravity of Loki season one and how this picks up in this episode are just like astronomically high, right? And you don't need anything with like superpowers and Ant-Man and Iron Man and all of that stuff to just really progress a really great storyline. And where we where where we pick up in this story is Loki's being time displaced. He's fluctuating between the past, the present, and then we get a little bit of the future towards the end of the episode. And it's up to Mobius, right? Who isn't a present because where we left off in the last season at the last episode we thought that he didn't remember him but that's because that loki traveled to the past right not on purpose but because of the the outcome of what happened with he who remains and uh and they meet someone called obi right or oberos and he's a i'm not too sure of his actual role he did mention it in the episode but what he's what happens, which is pretty interesting, um, I like to call this like time, uh, like time travel communication or just like time communication. I've never seen this happen in the show before, but remember how I said that Loki was fluctuating, right? So Lo wherever Loki is standing, he will fluctuate to that past version or present version or future version, right? So they're talking to, to Obi or Oberos, right? And they're basically asking him, like, how can they fix this? And he's like, you can't, right? And then they're like, there has to be a reason. So Loki, who is fluctuated and fluctuates to the past and talks to Obi in the past. And he basically says, like, theoretically, how could we fix this? And then he mentions, like, well, we would have to have this type of machine that does X, Y, and Z. But at the same time, uh, someone else would have to do this. And at the same time, while they're having this conversation, Mobius is also having a conversation with Obi in the present. And anything that Loki is saying to Obi in the past and anything that they're doing is then affecting what's happening in the present conversation. So you can see that that Obi is starting to gain memories based on the conversation that they're having in the past. And he he's like, well, you can't really fix that. But he's like, but I think I have, uh, I have something. And he and he picks up the machine that can be used in order to basically remedy this situation. But it takes there it takes a lot of preparation. Uh, and basically what happens in the episode is that they, they remedy the situation, right? Um, I know I'm skipping through a lot of what's happened in the episode, but it's really amazing. And we learned that the TVA comes to an understanding of everything that's happening, but they're going after Sylvie, right? And why they're going after Sylvie? Because she catalyzed pretty much all of this, right? This chaos, the branching of the timelines and things of that nature. So they're going after her. Now, stick around for the post-credit because after the credits, we do see a post-credit scene, right? And I'm going to spoil it for you in the next couple of seconds because this whole video is a spoiler. But uh, notice how I'm like generalizing pretty much everything. Right. So even if you're being spoiled, you're still going to be thoroughly surprised once you see the episode. Towards the end of the episode, we do see Sylvie and she's walking into a McDonald's. Right. And it's nothing short of anything like truly amazing. But she goes into the McDonald's and she's like, how do I order? You know, how do I get something? Right. And she looks around and she looks at the people because this is the first time that she gets a chance to kind of slow down and experience everything because she's been through so much. So go ahead and watch that episode. If you want to see me do theories about this episode, right, in more detail, and, well, not theories for this episode, but theories for episode number two, let me know in the comment section. But most importantly, um, if you're enjoying the content, share it, uh, and be good to yourself and be good to others. This uh, Loki season two is great. So go ahead and watch it. If I had to rate it a go, not my cup of tea, or to go see it, I would rate it a Go see it. Later, everyone.